Hello. Hello, teachers. Welcome. Welcome po sa ating live. Hello to my PPL family. Hello po. So, because I'm and late na po ako bumangon. So, I just came up with this. So, please share po. Sa okay, so you can comment po or you can ask questions kasi live naman po and uh, that's why makikita ko po so that we have an interaction. So, thank you po ba ako? You can comment po ah. But it seems that my internet is slow. Why? Having trouble connecting? Please check your internet connection. Fix ko po muna yung internet connection ko. Hello? Try ko po muna if okay ang sound. So, awesome. and now we are preparing the man for year 2024. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my teachers, you can comment po ah. If... Na. Okay, ready na. Sige, sige. Nakakain na po ba ang lahat, teachers? Kasi parang internet connection, connection dito sa Ang hina ng Wi-Fi. Okay, I just want to make sure na upper ya. Kasi this is the first time na mag-live ko for the March year 2024. Hello po, good morning. Shout out. Okay, so 11, so 11.55. September they rest na sila and of course claim na na magiging LPT na. So are you a first taker or retakers? Retakers. Hello po teacher Lynn. You know what, teacher? Teachers, uh, I am not really, really good in questions. Cause, ba ako nagpalike? Or on sessions talaga is sa GC lang. So of course I have to be flexible and of course do live sessions like this. Cause before na re recorded lang ako most all the time. But uh, last session ko nung nag-final coaching nung September, the, ang ganda rin kasi ang live kasi parang may interactions and if you guys have some questions to me, of course, I can answer. 
So, which is good talaga mag-live kaysa sa recorded. And uh, for the information of everybody, bukas po, Friday sa aking TTF uh, Education. So, you have to print um, scantron sheet kasi yun po ang gagamitin nyo bukas. And of course, para po ma-practice ang inyong shape. Um, really necessary when it comes to board exam. Kasi kapag hindi tayo yung pag-shade mo, or mali yung pag-shade mo, the way you shade, is talagang maa-affect yung um, board exam journey mo. So, it, uh, may possibility talaga na hindi siya mabasa ng machine. So, we, we have to be ready sa ating pag-shade. Alright, so, few minutes na lang po, and we will start. Sana marami pa pong mag-join. Okay, sa mga nanonood po right now, paki-type nga po ng LPT for the attendance. Type LPT in the comment section for the attendance. Thank you po. Go teacher Lee. Right, ang PT po at mag- So, some of my questions that I prepare right now are 12 question September. September po. Actual question. Janet. Aking live. Ay sa aking signal nawawala. Mo ngayon. Kasi super duper na, uh, may nag-attendance sa G. Pasok po kayo sa ating YouTube. Mahaba-haba pa yung preparations niyo. Kasi mas maganda yung prepared tayo kaysa sa hindi. Kasi you cannot afford to take the board exam again. Diba? Bakit ang iba hindi makapasok sa live? Wait. Invite ko muna sila. GC sila nag-attend. <laughs> mabuhay, mabuhay po. Please share this live po so that we can start na. Ayun. Hello, teacher. Please. Exactly. Yung iba is naglalunch na it's lunch time. Okay. Hindi sila nakasali but of course you can watch it later naman. Yung yung the best talaga kapag nasa live ka ngayon is of course makakapag-enter ako sa
Hello, teachers. Yan. Uh, by the way, teachers, before I forget, uh, kung ikaw ay first timer and you don't know how to process the online application sa Liris, so pwede po kayong magpa-assist sa akin kasi have a person po na kilala na nag-a-assist po. So anyways, I will post the information sa ating GC and in that way, Po, kung kayo ay working at wala po kayong time para mag-process po ng inyong online application or wala po kayong time para pumunta sa PRT, of course, it is uh, a easiest way po na magpa-assist na lang po kayo sa akin. So, for the pain uh, privately sa, sa messenger ko. So, para po hindi na kayo mahirapan. At the same time, wait na lang po kayo sa inyong NOAA. Welcome! Welcome everyone! Okay. Naririnig niyo na po ba ako, teachers? Let's mag-start na tayo. Naririnig niyo po ba ako? Am I clear? Sige, sige. Thank you po. Okay, naririnig na. So, let's start. Okay, so general education, uh, of course, for March and September. Uh, let take takers in the year 2020. So, before we start, prayer. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we're about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Okay, so in the name, again. Uh -huh, di ko siya nakiklik. Sa ikaw, wait lang po ah. My slides, ayun. Di siya masyag, ayun. Alright, okay naman siya. Start with number one question. So, more on top. And please, um, don't forget to take the notes. Get pen and paper and make sure po na magsulat. Number one. Ano nyo ang sumusunod na patanong na pangusa? Kinain nga ang gulay, hindi ba? A. Panang panag ay letter B, patotoo, letter C, pagtanggi, or letter D, dugtungan. Okay, so Filipino question. Anong anyo ang sumusunod na patanong na pangusap? Kinain niya ang gulay, hindi ba? Right. So ano po yung clue natin? Yes, hindi, the word hindi. Letter A, panag B, patoto. Lara si B, dugtungan. Okay, for your answer, teachers, you can comment po. Paano po yung sagot nyo? Mm 
Letter A kaya? Letter B? Letter C or letter D? First? Yung clue po is hindi. Kain niya ang gulay. Hindi ba? Hindi. Okay, ano po yung sagot niya, teachers? Okay, so for answer is letter letter C. Letter C po ang tamang sagot pagtanggi. Now, let's discuss. Okay. So, meron tayong tinatawag dito na pang-abay. So, this one, uh, the choice is called pang-abay. So, yung pang-abay po, sa ing... Okay, pang-abay or... Pang-abay po ay bahagi ng panalitang nagbibigay turing sa pandiwa. Uri, pang-abay. So, pang-abay. Have different types or kinds of pang-abay. So, ito po ang 13 na uri ng pang-abay. Uh, we have number 1, pamanahon, panlunan, pamaraan, pang-agam, panangayon, panangi, pagdaano, pamitagan, panulad, kondisyonal, kusatibo, benepaktibo, pangkaukulan. Ang dami. At ilan lang po yung mga tinatanong sa board exam. So, go back with the question. Um, number one. So, the correct answer is pagtanggi. Alright. Bakit po pagtanggi? Or pagtanggi? Pagtanggi or pagtanggi po ang ating tamang sagot dahil siya po ay tulad ng pagtanggi tulad ng hindi, de, at ay. Ano po natin sa pagtanggi na hindi, de, at ayaw. Alright. So, sinabi ko po kanina na ang clue ko po dito is hindi. Tama? So, yung hindi ay nangangahulugan na yung adverb o pagkakay na um, nagdi-define ay letter C, pagtanggi. So, very good. Congratulations, Teacher Klein or Teacher Klein. Ano po ba yung pag-pronounce mo? So, congratulations. Alright, number one question. Ligwak yung iba. Bawe. Okay. Yung letter A po, panag-ayon. Ito po ay nagsasaad ng pagsangay. Amit dito ang mga salitang oo. Adyak, talaga, syempre, at iba. Nagsasabi na ikaw ay sumasangayon. Right? So, panang-ayon or panang-ayon or sumasangayon. So, wala naman dyan na nagsasangayon. Wala kang word na oo, oo, tunay, at iba pa. So, is hindi. Okay. So, yung letter B pa totoo is hindi po siya uri ng pang-aba. Uh, uh, maybe letter B is just X na siya talaga. Wala siya. It's not included. Okay. Letter D, dugtunga naman, is something with the uh, fill in the blank. Not, so, dugtungan is fill in the blank. For example, um, Jose Rizal is blank. Uh, din po siya uri ng pang-abay or and The correct answer with number one is letter, letter C is sa salitang hindi. Very good. Congratulations. Now, let's move on with number two question. Gets that? Okay. Number two. The collection of stories of animals which 
moral lang. Tungan kasi may blank. So that is, okay. Letter A, three balls. Letter B, letter C, Green's Fairy Tale. 1,001 arrived. Arab. Ano po yung sagot yung let a number two? Collection daw po ng mga stories of animals that teach us moral lessons. Letter A. a and King Larry C. Fairy Tales. Uh, letter D. 1001. Uh, ano po yung sagot nyo? Number two. Number two, ano po yung sagot niya, teachers? Okay, so for number two, the correct answer is letter... Letter A, Aesop Fables. Alright, so letter A po ang tangang sagot. Aesop Fables. It's the collection of stories of animals which teach moral lessons. Okay, very good, teacher. So, you know what? A uh, fable is a short story which is as a lesson or conveys a moral. You'll find a, a personal, a personal find animals and fables like talking pictures. So, tabuna na po yung larawan sa words. Ewan ko kung anong nangyari. Anyway, that is fable. Okay. So, fable is a story that teaches us moral lessons. So, ano-ano po ba yung fable na alam nyo, teachers? Or pabula. Ano-ano po yung uh, fable or pabula na alam nyo? No, bata tayo, we are really fond in fables, right? Yung lessons talagang na marinig sa ating mga ay, or even mga lola and lolos natin. What are the Example of fables that you hear before or alam nyo. Ang pagong at si Matching. Tano ba? Pagong? Hmm. At ang pagong at si Matching. Sorry. Limutan ko na. Yes. Best story yan before. Ang pagong at si Matching. That is an example of fable. The lion and the mouse. <laughs> okay, nakalimutan ko na ano story niya. The lion and the mouse. Okay, so habang tumatay, nakakalimutan natin yung mga story before sa atin. Diba? Kasi iba na talagang matapos sa ating isipan ngayon. Yung mga story natin ngayon is yung mga drama, k-drama, k-pop, tam. Okay. So, yung sagot natin kanina is letter A, Aesop Fable. So, si Aesop po ay ama ng pabula or father or yes. Um, nakikita nyo po so that is Aesop. Isa siyang lumpo, bol, uh, baldado o pilay na manulula na muhay ng uh, five dan taon. Siya po ay bal at lumpo. Mga paa, mga, kalab, mga kamay. But, um, his kakulangan po is never naging kulang sa kanya talaga. Naging 
no mat dahil sa connection so no matter what and who you are talagang walang makakapig you are the you have the perseverance and uh, of course magiging successful ka po talaga so Aesop is the best example so sa kanyang kalaga of course naging at kilala po siya bilang uh, King is a film, dreams fairy tales. Sabi ko ba yun nagsulat? Dreams fairy tales. Animated series. So it's an example of fable. 1001 Arabian Nights. So the correct answer uh, in our question number two is Ace of Fables. Letter A. Congratulations, everyone. Tama. O, sa mga ligwak dyan. Nako, nako, nako. Bawe. Ha? Bawe. Now, let's move on with number three. Question. Sa mga kakapasok, yes. Hello, hello po. Magandang buhay. Three. Gabriel. Silang esto Diego Silang as Gregorio de Jesus esto Blanc. Letter A, Jose Rizal. Letter B, Andres Bonifacio. Letter C, Emilio Aguinaldo. Letter D. Tinatanong natin dito is sino? What, what's your answer, teachers? Si Gabriela Silang daw esto Diego Silang. As Gregorio or Gregoria de Jesus is to blank. So yung hinahanap natin dito is yung husband ni Gregoria de Jesus. So clear that Gabriel the wife of Diego Silang. So sino naman po yung husband ni Gregoria de Jesus? The letter A po ba, Jose Rizal? Pambansang bayani. Sa letter B, Andres Bonifacio. Letter C. So, what's your answer? Number three, the correct answer is letter. Letter B, Andres Bonifacio. Okay, tama po ba ang sagot niyo, number three, teachers? Si Andres din ba ang sagot niyo? Yes, well, good. Alright. So, so, si Gregoria de Jesus po ay para lang kaya Andres Bonifacio. Ikaw kaya tiyo kay kanino. Chot. Okay. So, let's move on. Andres Bonifacio. And the president of the Katagalugan. So kapag tinagalugan, let's say Andres Bonifacio. She played a major and one of them in the Philippines Revolution. After the death of Bonifacio, the she married Julio, one of the generals of the revolution. Out. Sorry, kasi. Si Gregoria pala ay hindi lang pa kay Andres. Kasi after na namatay si Andres Bonifacio, iba, ganon. So, yung pinalit niya ay si Julio Nakpil. So, the correct answer sa number three is si Andres Bonifacio. Si Gregoria de Jesus po ay kay Andres Bonifacio. But after the death of um, Andres Bonifacio ay um, na-attract siya at naging husband niya si So what about Jose Rizal? Of course, si Jose Rizal ay para lang kay Josephine B. Uh, may nasagot na? 
thing. <laughs> okay, so set aside is for Joseph and Bracken. So at the age of 13, an Irish woman po, sila po ay nag-meet ni Jose Risa. Okay, si Joseph and Bracken po is from Hong Kong. Emilio Aguinaldo. Si Emilio Aguinaldo po ay may dalawa siyang asawa. Una ay si Hilaria Hilaria Del Rosario. Uh, si Hilaria in 1896 1896 po and uh, they had six children. Noong 1913 noong 1913 naman po ay um, pinangasawa niya si Maria Agoncillo. Diba? Ganon kagwapo si Emilio Aguinaldo. Okay. So, una niya pong asawa, kapag tinanong sa board exam, who is the first wife of Emilio? Ang sagot po ninyo ay si Del Rosario. For exam, who is the second wife of Emilio Aguinaldo? Your answer is Maria Consider. Sulat po yun, teachers. Very good. Okay. Now, letter D. Gregorio del Pilar. So, pinangasawa ni Gregorio del Pilar kasi siya po ay loyal. Okay. Sino-sino po ang loyal sa inyo? Okay. Kidding us. Pinangasawa po ni Gregorio del Pilar is no other than, of course, uh, Dolores Nabla Jose. Dolores Nabla Jose. So, okay, recap lamang po tayo. Si Gregoria de Jesus Bonifacio. Pero nung namatay po si Andres Bonifacio ay um, nangasawa po siya ulit kay Nakpil. Si Jose Rizal, lang, si Jose Rizal po ay kay Josephen, Josephen Bracken. Okay. Si Emilio Aguinaldo po ay may dalawang asawa. Una si Hilaria del Rosario at yung pangalawa po ay si Maria Agoncillo. Yung letter D naman po, Gregorio del Pilar, ito po ay uh, napaka-loyal na hero natin. Siya po ay nangasawa kay Nol, uh, Dolores Nabla Jose. Okay, nakuha teachers. Okay. Now let's move on to number four question. Number four. Siguro uh, I'm planning din na mag siguro mag ano tayo na no? mag um, Google Meet para po mag kita kita po tayo. Yung Google Meet po ba, ano siya, recorded din po ba siya after ng live? Ano kaya? Kasi, to upload after po ng session, for example, dito sa ating stream, ina-upload ko po siya para yung hindi nakakasali sa ating live sessions, ay, uh, they will have time to this video. So, sana po ganun din sa stream yan. But stream, uh, I mean, sa Google Meet. But okay, number four. Ang ama ng balarila ay C. Si. Letter A, Yulujo Amang Rodriguez. Letter B, Letter C, Jose Corazon de Jesus. Letter D, Inigo Pedrigalado. Ah, uh, no September, yung kanilang gen ed po talaga is halos. Mostly, lumabas yung mga padils ko at ang final coaching na. Kaya you are very lucky kasi nung, um, nung ako before, nag-start ng ako ng ganito, like mag-live or mag-recorded nung mga malapit na yung opportunity na uh, first month of review natin ay nagpa-live na agad ako sa inyo. Sana tuloy-tuloy Number four, ang ama ng balarila ay si 
What's your answer, teacher? Sino po ang inyong sagot sa kanilang apat? Ama ng balarila. Number four, letter. Kilalang kilala niyo siya. Always din siyang lumalabas sa hindi na nawawala yung mga bayani na sa for example. Noong September 2023, may mga lumabas na result questions. Okay. Number four. The correct answer is tama, teacher Lynn. Answer is uh, letter B, look, K. Santos. Okay, walang iba kundi si Lope K. Santos lamang ang kilala na ama ng balarila. Okay, si Lopi K. Santos ay isang tanyag na manunulat sa wikang Tagalog noong kanyang kapanahunan. Sa simula ng ika-19, wow, grabe. Parin siyang abogado, kritiko, obrero, at itinuturing na ama ng pambansang wika. Si Lopi K. Santos po ang ama ng balarila ang po ang ama ng pambansang wika. Okay, Lope K. Santo. Sino naman po yung letter L? Si Yulujo Amang Rodriguez. Si Yulujo Rodriguez po ay isang uh, Pilipinong politiko ang pinamakamatagal sa Pangulo ng Senado pagkatapos ni Manuel L. Quezon. So siya po ang pinakamatagal na nag sa Pangulo ng Senado. So uh, he, he uh, senate po talaga after ni Manuel L. Quezon. So that is Letter C, Jose Corazos, kilala bilang tawag na Huseng Batote. Okay. Si Huseng Batote ay si Corazon de Jesus. Jose Corazon de Jesus ay Huseng Batote. May isa pa, Huseng Sisio. Sino po siya? Kapag tinatawag na Huseng Sisio, sino po? Teachers, alam niyo po yun. Sino si Huseng Sisio? Si Jose Cruz. Alright. Kapag sinabing sino ang tinatawag ng Huseng Batute, okay, Huseng Batute, si Jose Corazon de Jesus. Kapag tinat uh, tinanong naman sino yung tinatawag ng Huseng Sisio, ang sagot po ay si Jose de Jesus. Okay, si Jose at Cruz, Husing, Jose, Jesus, Husing Batute, Jose, Corazon, Jesus. Okay. O, oh, kayo, teachers. Letter D, Enigo Edrigalado. Si Jose, Corazon, Jesus din ko pala ang lyrics natin sa kanta na pa lyrics po yun ha. Lereses po siya ng bayan po. Si Jose Corazon de Jesus. Okay, let's move, let's move on. Sino naman po yung si Inigo Edrigalado? Po ang nagsulat ng Sampagitang Walang Bango. Sampagitang Walang Bango po. Is, tinatanong po yan sa board exam. Alam niyo po ba yun, Sampagitang Walang Bango? Yan po ay isang novel ni Enigo Edrigalado. So, what's up? Okay, umi-isa sa usaping pag-ibig. 
pagtitimpi at pagtataksil. Kasi, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, kasi it's about uh, a story. They have quarrel. Yes, of course, it revolves about love. So, yung babae po dyan, ang asawa, ay, ay kilala bilang tawag na si Minita. At yung kanyang husband po ay tinatawag na si Bandino. Kasi naman, uh, nagtaksil yung asawa niya sa kanya. It's about pagtataksil ng asawa. Ang sam, uh, sampagitang walang bango. Ni Inigo Edrigado. So, tinatanong po yan sa board exam. Teachers, kapag po may tanong sa akin, you can comment po so that mapag-usapan po natin. Okay? Huwag pong dapat kapag nag-padils uh, ako, meron uh, it is a ritual na ng mga top dalit pa na magpa Every Thursday, kasi noon, uh, five days sessions talaga. But, parang di, kasi, la live na ako ngayon, so, yun na, hanggang Thursday na lang. Thursday na lang. Now, ang signal. Yes, ewan ko nga kung bakit hindi Hindi kinaya ng signal ko kasi before naman, okay naman siya. Nako, sige lang teachers. Uh, ngayon sa inyo, dyan sa mga screen nyo, you can watch it again. You can re-watch it kasi I will upload video naman. Okay, now let's move on with number five. Yung uh, five questions, next five questions po ay, excuse me, actual, more some questions. So, maaaring lumabas siya ulit, we don't know. Yan lang yung questions, we don't know, but we have to be prepared. Okay, number five, which of the following appliances consumes the most electricity? Okay, napaka. Easy ng tanong. Hat nga ba sila nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Letter A. TV. Letter C. Aircon. Washing machine. Okay. Sa apat na yan, na mga appliances na yan, ano yung pinaka malaking mag-consume ng kuryente? Refriger refrigerator, TV, aircon, machine. What's your answer, dear? Letter A, refrigerator. Talaga, teacher Mary Grace, refrigerator po yung pinakamalaking mag-consume. Hello! Kapag kayo nag-exam ng September, kayo. Yes, tama. Letter C ang tamang sagot natin. Sige, try nyo. Mag-air nyo mula umaga hanggang gabi. Uh, magkano kaya yung ikot ng kuryente nyo? Ay sa saga, ref kayo hanggang umaga hanggang gabi. Mas malaking mag-consume yung aircon. Super as in. Um, it's uh, real life situations. Real life. Nung ano, month of, uh, before, hindi ko na matandaan, nag-aircon talaga kami nung ano. Um, imagine ha, hindi, hindi whole day ha. From afternoon lang, 6 p.m. And then, papatay namin siya, ano, papatay namin siya kinaumagahan. Around, uh, yes, 5 p.m. namin siya. But, 
your bill for one month is cost 4,000 plus. Imagine, sobrang okay, laki ng ponsyo nila. Uh, before, nung walang yung refrigerator namin, whole day din yan, whole day. And we have some appliances like TV, like TV and yung laptop ko pa. Yung, yung bill lang taga namin is 1,000 plus. Kaya, uh, nung nag-aircon kami, we tried for one month, 4,000 yung bill namin. Oh my God, ang lucky talaga. So, kaya, mm, the appliances that most consume the electricity is aircon. Mga aircon tayo, teachers, na nilang, ano daw yun? Uh, water, kasi mas, mas hindi sila nag-consume ng, ng malaking electricity and burn. May isa po kasi, teacher. Uh, talaga, teacher Mary Grace. Po kami washing machine. We only have ref. Saan po hindi sa amin? So, sa apartment lang. Ganon. Kaya, after, after kami 4,000, talagang hindi na kami gumagamit ng aircon. <laughs> Sobrang sakit sa bulsa. nag ko na lang kami right uh, right after kapag like this, magla-live ako kasi sobrang init. So, yun. And, tayo din namin. And, um, one time nga, tinignan ko siya. Ang bilis talaga ng ikot niya. As in, ako, nung one and a half hour ako ng session, umikot na talaga siya ng one, one kilowatt. Ganon. As in, ang bilis ng ikot niya. Okay, so the correct answer, number five question is letter C, aircon. Now let's move on with number six. Jose results prefer to be in prison and walk a miles away as punishment for a trump up charge of Spanish official rather than apologize by accepting a charge. Of letter A, hesitation, letter B, submission, letter C, e, conviction. Okay, again. Uh, yung model ni Jose Rizal is imprisoned and the uh, walk among of charge of Spanish official. Siyang kasalanan and um, was impressed. Impre she was imprisoned and punished by the Spaniards. And rather, rather, rather than by accepting that. So, in this po na mag-apologize, mag-apologize siya, ay tinanggap niya and talagang uh, in prison than to apologize. So, anong action po na pinapakita yung result? Letter A, hesitation. Letter C, submission. Letter C, incertitude. Or letter D, conviction. What's your answer? Kapag ikaw ay isang tao na may ginawang kasalanan and ayaw mong mag-apologize, alam mo sarili mo na parang it's better to be punished hindi na naman deserve Ganon? So, anong tawag doon? Yung punishment kaysa mag-sorry ka sa kanya. Ganon. Hesitation, letter B, submission, and certitude, or letter D, conviction. B, kay teacher Marife. Submission. When you say submission, ah, ano po yun? Teacher Marathon, submissive. Ano po ay? Teacher Pearlie, ah, lig. 
is ligwak pong letter B. Mali, 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 X. The correct answer is letter. For number six question, the correct answer is letter. Letter D. Con Bakit? Question. Bakit conviction? Teacher, coach, bakit? Sinabi po natin conviction. You You are convicted, judgment, sentence, or imprisoned. Look at the screen, teachers. Yung clue natin dyan is the term imprisoned. Um, she put into jail. Okay, she imprisoned. The clue prison kaya kon. Conviction from the word convicted, judgment, sentence, imprisoned. So the best and right answer is letter, letter D, conviction. May mga sumagot ng letter B. Submissive. Okay. My dear teachers, when you say submissive, submission, you have to be controlled by other people or animals. Okay. You are allowing yourself to be controlled by another people. Pagiging submission nyo or pagiging submissive nyo, um, parang nagiging puppet kayo dyan kasi um, uh, parang yung buhay nyo ng ibang tao. Kung anong sasabihin ng ibang tao sa inyo, talagang pinaniniwalaan nyo. You are submissive. Oh, that's a wrong. Okay? Let's not uh, allowed or self told by someone or or even animals. So, don't be submissive. So, hindi pinapakita na yung nanay ni Rizal ay submissive. Kasi hindi siya nagpa-control. Apo, imbis na mag-sorry siya, mag-apologize siya, yung ginawa niya ay um, she opened arms the punishment and uh, she imprisoned. So, that's not submissive. Okay. May sumagot din ng letters or certitude. Certitude means certitude means not sure or or being uh, hesitation. So, hindi po kayo sure. So, sa incertitude, wala pong kinalaman dyan. Okay. So, yung letter A, hesitation and incertitude is just the same. Isa lang pong ibig hindi sigurado. Yun lang po. So, out na yung letter A and letter C. But the correct answer here with question number 6, F, letter D, convection because of the word imprison. Again, when we say convection, you are imprisoned, you are judged, you are sentenced. Okay? Clear, teachers? Alright, lumalabas yan sa board exam. That is a board exam question. Malay nyo, lumabas ulit sa one point. Alam mo yung pasado ka na sana, pero sana pasado ka na, pero hindi mo pa na itama. You cannot afford to take the board exam again kasi pipila ka na naman, magbabayad ka na naman ng 900 or more. Ah, diba? Yung has... Mm, ayun. So, it's better to analyze and and, and uh, try to analyze the choices. And yung always kung sinasabi sa kanila, yung mga former um, enrollers ko sa top the left, lagi kong sinasabi sa kanila na huwag ka muna at maghanap ka muna ng loo. Lalo na yung hindi mo na iintindihan yung tanong. First, maghanap ng clue kasi kapag walang clue, tapos na. Doon ka na naman sa mga hanapin mo yung naiiba. Hindi so, pala, 
Tandaan po lahat. All right, now let's move on with number seven question. Again, si Results Mother na naman. Ito po ay lumabas din noong March. Na maaari ding lumabas ngayong, ah, lumabas ng September, na maaari ding lumabas again uh, this March 2020. Ito po, kumain na ka. So, tubig is life. Kanina pagising ko is sakit ng ulo ko. And parang nagsusort. So, siguro sa mga lamig. Kasi I'm very fond of drinking water. So, ganun. Water. Okay, number Result was not only well educated but she was also endowed with business acumen which enabled her family's well to do style making the family blank there a patriarchal rd nuclear okay hanapin yung clue dyan ano yung clue nyo at ano yung sagot nyo teachers Okay, itama nyo na number seven. Please lang. Okay, number seven. What's your answer, teachers? Results mother was not only well-educated, but she was also endowed with business. Acumen would enable her to sustain the family's well-to-do lifestyle, making the family. Ano daw po siya? Number seven na po tayo, teachers. What's your answer? Hindi lamang po siya edukadang tao. Pero she owned a business na makakapag-sustain sa kanilang family. Okay, so number nine. Ah, number seven. Sorry, number seven. Jump na agad ako sa number nine. Gutom. Okay, number seven. The correct answer is letter. Letter. Letters. Teacher Monica, kaka-join niya lang. Oh, pasok agad yung gut niya. Letter C, matriarch. Kasi matriarchal teacher. Okay. So, tandaan natin, meron tayong tinatawag na matriarchal, patriarchal, and nuclear. Yun po ang mga iba't ibang ori ng types of family that we have. Okay. So, unahin po muna natin si patriarchal at si matriarchal. Yung sagot natin kay matriarchal. Bakit? When we say matriarchal, uh, yung ma ang he na yung mother po ang patriarchal naman, yung father naman po ang head ng family. Okay, ganun naman po. Matriarchal, mother po ang head ng family. Patriarchal, ang family. Okay. Napaka-easy ng tanong na ito. <laughs> okay, so the correct answer is letter C. Congratulations. Teacher Monica, Teacher Mary Grace. Okay. Extended family naman. Ano po yan? Alam niyo po ba yan, teachers? When extended, ano pong ibig sabihin? Kapag sinabi natin extended family, close or includes aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, or other relatives. So, for example, um, at yung mga kapatid mo, at yung na 
isang bahay ay may kasama kayong lola mo, anti mo, tito mo, or mga ibang family mo, that is what you call extended family. Basta kasama yung anti mo, yung tito mo, uh, yung mga cousins mo, or other relatives, that is extended family. Okay. So kapag sinabi na namang nakter, ito po yung um, basic na family uh, type type of family kasi yung nuclear yung composed lang po dito is ikaw bilang anak yung mga kapatid mo other and your father that is nuclear family kapag anjan yung lola mo yung tita mo yung cousins mo or yung ibang family niyo extended family so sino po sa inyo ang ano pong uri ng Meron kayo. Is it extended or nuclear? Okay. Alam nyo na po yan. Extended or nuclear? Sa ano teachers? Anong uri ng, anong, anong type of family meron kayo? Is it extended or nuclear? Kasi kami, ex, uh, nuclear talaga. Nuclear. Yung uh, pag-lead naman kasi is pa Ask yourself, ay anong, anong, ano kami? type of family kami is na si mama or nanay yung nagli-lead or nag-head ng family namin or is it patriarchal na si papa or si tatay yung nag-head ng family namin ano so kapag mutual so sa amin it's more on patriarchal head the family when it comes to decision making, mga okay, patriarchal daw. When you say matriarchal, the mother heads or leads the family. Okay. So that's it. Alam na, teachers. So dito po sa tanong natin, ang yung nanay patriarchal family. Kasi, hindi lamang po siya uh, well-educated Kunde, uh, she finds ways on how to sustain her family's matriarcha. Okay, so, di lang sa bahay, ba? Do more. Kaya nga tao, tayo tinatawag na, um, girls, patriarchal. Okay, so, Tayong mga Filipino citizens, uh, iba't ibang uri ng family, types of family na meron tayo. ba? May iba na patriarchal, may iba na matriarchal. So, sa nag-head ng family natin, it's either our mother na tama. Yes. Tama yung pamamaraan nila and how we raise a for sana tama. Kasi sa amin, uh, I will not Oh. Yon, so now um my uh, since hindi ako umuwi sa amin gulo gulo so because my father is a really what do you call this one hard to us yung kaya yung ibaliwala yung mga anak Never mind. So, eight question. Number eight. Okay, ito din po ay lumabas. Kahit tanungin niyo mga friends, yung nag board exam before, talagang Okay, number eight. Scent of apples, a collection of stories that succeeded. Written by letter B. Letter C. FNL Jose, letter B. Carlos Bulusa. Okay, sino po yung nagsulat? Please sumagot ni Teacher Mary Grace. Letter 
Vinidus Santos. Tama kayo, parang hindi na Vinidus Santos. Tama kayo, parang hindi na Vinidus Santos. Tama Okay, okay. Number eight, to correct the letter. Ayun. Nawala na po dahil sa signal. Anyway. The number eight question is letter. Letter A. C. Benvenido Santos po ang nag send of apples. Scent of Apples by Vinvenido Santos is a part of a short story collection of the same name published in 1978 by University of Washington. Scent of Apples, Tech of Mon, as a family migrants to the United States. Scent of Apples, po, it's about a man who longing for his native land. The nun, yung scent of apples. Yung pagiging patriotism, pagmamahal sa country niya. Okay. That is by Vinvenido Santo, scent of apples. And that my dear teachers. Kasiyan sa board exam. Yung is known as Dubig Leon. A combination of dove. Lion, the big lion, eagle, and lion. His notable verses include the ang the emperor's new sonnet and of course the footnote, footnote to you. Yeah, yung footnote to you yun yung kilala, yung familiar ko sa kay Jose Garcia Villa. Kasi that work show show or pop up and the word exam. Letter C naman kay F. Sonel Jose. Uh, yung work niya is Daro. Hindi siya mas sa kanya eh. Daro Sali. Yung letter naman po, Carlos Bulusan. Of course, yung famous work ni America is in the heart. America is in the heart. So for exam, sino yung nagsulat ng Send of Apples? Sino yung nagsulat ng Send of Apples? Benvenido San Put note to you, si Jose Garcia V. Ng Daro sa si F. Sonel Jose ng America si Carlos Bulusan. Okay, very good. Galing, ha? Okay, galing, galing. Nine. Let's go on with number nine. Hanggang ten items lang po. So let's do ten. All right. Governor General Narciso Claverio was one who ordered the. Ano yung in order niya? In order niya ba yung yung Jollibee? <laughs> yung masal o gutom gutom na sila? Founding of the Unidad Democrática. Letter B, use of Spanish. Letter C, tobacco. D, resettlement of Filipino communities in Cavite. Okay. No, yung ginawa ni General Narceso Laveria. Bila siya. Bilang. Number nine, what's your answer, my dear teachers? Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D. Kapag sa board exam, may letter E. Ito wala na. Check, it's 12.55. Please, yun, magla-lunch na po. 
Number nine, the correct answer is letter. Ano po ang tamang sagot? Okay, number nine. Si, Ho si General Narceso Laveria po ay uh, he ordered the letter D. Okay, letter B. Okay, si Narciso Claveria po ay sa kanya po yung surnames. Tandaan, Claveria. Okay. Kapag nasa TTL family po kayo, talagang ito, mga tanong na ito, ay mag na lang sa inyo. Trust me, trust me, promise. Promise. Ngayon, nahihirapan pa kayo kasi hindi pa kayo umabot ng, ng months sa TTL family. But, kapag tuloy-tuloy yung sessions natin at always kayong participate yung mga ganitong question ay magiging sisiyaw na lang talaga sa inyo. And, sobrang easy-easy na lang. Promise. I swear that. Promise. Gagawin natin lahat para maging easy yung mga questions. Okay. So, si Claveria po ang sa kanya po ay surnames. Okay. On November 21, uh, General it should a decree compile a catalog of family names for the Filipinos to adopt. So, matiyatawag po siyang Claveria Decree in 1849. That is the surname nga po na ginawa niya. Kasi di ba nung panahon pa ng Spain, uh, Spain, yeah, um, yung mga Filipino people ay talagang hinahunt nila. Yes, hinahunting nila. And, at, uh, siguro si, si Claveria ay, ay hinahanap ng Spain people. That is why he changed the surname para po hindi Kasi like with the Rizal and other heroes natin ay meron silang mga pen. Well, like with the Rizal, laong laan, masalang, mga kay Andres Bonifacio, kay Emilio Aguinaldo, basta they are using their pen names para maitago po yung identity nila. Kasi kung hindi nga po, they ah uh, magiging trigger or or yung identity nila ay makilala ng mga Spaniards. Spaniard. So, that's it. So, um, General Narciso Claveria ordered the Claveria Decree in 1849, which is the surname. So, very good. Letter. Letter B surnames. May sugamagot po ng letter D, Resettlement of Filipino Communities, Kapuseras. Okay, may sumagot ng letter D. Yung ibig sabihin po ng letter D, recital is what you call reduction. Di ba? City, letter A naman, founding of the Union Obrera Democratica. Sino po ang founder niya, Ann? C. Isabelo de los Reyes. Isabelo de los Reyes po, sa kanya po ang Union Obrera Democratica. Yung Tobacco Monopoly, tinatanong din po yan sa Bordex. Jose Basco. Tobacco Monopoly, Jose Basco. Okay, recap lang. Kapag sinabi pong surname, sino si Jose, ah, no, no, no. Kapag sinabi surname, sino po siya? Si Narceso Claveria. Narciso Claveria Surnames. Obrera Democratica, si Isabelo. Obrera Democratica, si Isabelo de los Reyes. Kapag um, Tobacco Monopoly, Jose Basco. Tobacco Monopoly, Jose Basco. Namamaos na. So, tandaan niyo po yan, teachers. Kasi, those people and their uh, works as sa chalk board exam. So, sayang yung magiging mag uh, nasana kayo sa board exam pero yung isang tanong ay hindi nyo pa naisagot ng tama. So, 
every question is important and is kailangan intindihin at sagutan ng tama. Okay? Okay? All right. Okay, move on na tayo sa no question. Ito tax tax naman. Okay, number 10. Tax imposed on every citizen of the Philippines is known as letter A, income tax, letter B, real estate tax, letter C, property tax, letter D, community tax. Okay, so what is your answer, my dear teachers? This tax imposed on every citizen of the Philippines. Ano daw yung tax na yon na iniimposed yung Pilipino? Good luck po bukas sa lahat. We have long test. Before kayo mag-long test, of course, may uh, pasasagutan din po ako sa inyo sa YouTube para po mag-long handa po kayo. And sa pag-top, I might certificates agad. Yes! Exciting. Number 10, what's your idea, teachers? Kitty Alphali. Okay. So, number 10, sinabi po ito post sa bawat mamamayang Pilipino. Itong tax na ito ay tinatawag na very good. Community tax. Yes. Letter D, community tax. Ano yung, ano yung clue? Yung clue po is citizen. Kapag sinabing citizen, may... Ha? Yes. Sabi ko sa inyo, hanapin nyo lang yung clue. Eh. Kasi kapag nahanap nyo yung clue, is really makukuha nyo po yung tamang sagot. So, yung clue is citizen. So, kapag may citizen, may community. Very good, teachers. The correct answer is... Okay. Ayun, may nakita ako. Property tax. Mm -hmm. Okay. My dear teachers, kapag sinabi naman pong property tax, sino po ang kailangan magbayad dito? Yun po ay mga professionals. Lahat ng professionals ay kailangan... I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Property tax po pala ay properties na kailangang So that's it. Property tax are the properties na kailangang bayan. What are examples of property dear teachers? Examples of property tax. Um, uh, basta property, lahat ng property, like mga lupa, di ba? But, yung real estate tax naman, yung kailangan din bayaran. Real estate tax. Real estate tax tax imposed by your local government unit, the property owners annually. So this includes your land, building, improvement of the land or building and mash. Yung sinabi na teachers na income tax is ito yung tax sa lahat ng professionals. Yeah. Ito yung binabayaran ng lahat ng professionals. Lahat ng may income ay kailangang magbayad ng income tax. Sino-sino po sila? Teachers, doctors, basta lahat ng professionals. They have to pay the what we call income tax. So, 
yung mga vloggers, yung may mga YouTube like me, uh, we also pay the tax. Yes. The tax. Kaya, ganun. <laughs> so, sino sino ba? Malahat na ba ata tayo? Basta meron tayong property or income, we have to pay those taxes. Kasi yung mga tax na yon ay pinas pinapasweldo din sa ating pabalik. So, yung is umiikot lamang po. So, that's it. That's it po. Income tax ay para po sa mga professionals. Real estate tax is yung may mga properties like for example, buildings or lands. Property tax is just the same with letter B. And then yung community tax po is the tax imposed on every citizen. So that is very good. Oh, uh, thank you so much, teachers. Before I leave, I just want patience. Dahil natapos nyo item sessions, items. But I know na marami po kayo na isulat at marami po kayo na tutunan sa akin. So marami salamat po, teachers. Ayun, hindi ko alam. Ayun. Ayun. Oh. Yay. So, thank you. Thank you so much. And um, see you on our next live sessions. But, before that, sa mag-review, oh, uh, you can invite them. Of course. And meron po ako uh, pa, ano ba? Ano ba tawag dito? Bale, may, may bawas. Ano ba doon? Um, kasi kung may mga friends po kayo na magtitay next year or September pa po, please, contact ko sila sa aking FB name, Joylyn Barola dati, and use the code TTL2020. Sinuon pa po yan, 2023. So, 2024 pa. TTL 2024 para po magkos sila ng discount. Share the good news to others. So, thank you so much, teachers. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you po. And uh, before I leave, I just want to say, self-belief and hard work will always earn you success. So, tiwala lamang po sa sarili and uh, do the hard work, and alam kong magiging LPT po kayong lahat. So, bye-bye po!